Hey, welcome to Demolition Kitchen. I'm your host, Matt. Today we're gonna make in one of my specialties. First, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 450, and then we're gonna add a quart of mags. We're gonna add a dash of barrels. We need to add one pinch of springs. We will add one cup of nine millimeters, plus P of course. You add a peck of pepper, and then season to taste. I usually put about one chancla worth of Julio's in there. Perfect. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put it in. And you let it cook for about 14 and three quarters minutes. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh no, I burned the guacamole. That was quiet, right? Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. You might be thinking, I've seen this video. You have, but not like this. This video we uploaded in November, and it was where we got the super long suppressor, and it has 69 baffles. The longest suppressor the world's ever seen. We hooked a bunch together. Unfortunately, it had gratuitous uh, suppressor screwing in the video, putting on the suppressor, which YouTube said goes against their terms, and you cannot show attaching a suppressor to a firearm, which we did a lot. Um, so they deleted my video. It had 5 million views in three weeks. It was a great video, one of the best the world's ever seen. And they deleted it. So here we are today with a re-edited version of this video to black out, censor, crop out completely every attachment of this suppressor to a firearm, uh, which really stinks. But I felt like this video was really good and I just didn't want it to be gone from the internet forever. So, um, let me present to you for the second time the largest suppressor the world's ever seen in the greatest video the world's ever seen. Edited. Thank you. I love you. I'm about to do a secret operation. Better get my suppressor. Ugh, it's right here. I just keep it in a little holster. I just shot 10 shots, did y'all hear it? Nope, because it's totally quiet. This is called an Erector 9. It is a suppressor from Q, and what's cool about it is all these little segments come apart, and you can make this thing very short, as you guys have seen in a previous video. So I made my previous video, and then one of you commenters was like, what if you hooked like three of those suppressors together? And I was like, oh my gosh, we could make a crazy long suppressor. So I was like, hey Q, um, can you send me a bunch more of these things? And so they sent us a ton of the sections. We actually have 69 of them. 69 um, sections for the Erector 9. We have the longest erection that anyone's ever seen. And then they also sent us their 22 caliber Erector. Their little skinny erection -ter. Um I assume it's called the Erector 22. And they sent 69 of those too. Oh, also, do not try this at home. They actually were like, hey man, you shouldn't do this. And I was like, I know. <laughs> so, uh, officially, Q says, don't shoot any more than what comes with your Erector 9 or Erector 22. We have, uh, I think there's 10 here. So yeah, we're like doing like seven times more than we should on our erection, Erector. I think we're gonna actually start small and then just like start adding segments as we go up. So we'll do 22 first. So Q actually measured and there is deviation and you can actually see it on the 22 maybe you guys will be able to see it it definitely is not completely straight you can see that it definitely droops when it gets that long the nine i can't see a droop but they measured it and they said it droops too 
when it's that long. So, <laughs> got droopy erection. So the problem with a droopy erection is there's a central, there's a central path going down the middle of it where your bullets fly, and <laughs> you can get a, you can get a baffle strike. Um, and so even a small suppressor can get a baffle strike. But if you think about it over a longer length of erection, as the bullets fly through there and it's starting to droop, they're probably going to hit. And once they hit one, they'll start bouncing around. And what I'm worried about is one coming out of the side of this thing. And so we're going to fire it from the rest as we start getting bigger. And we'll be pulling it with a string behind cover because I think it will be fine. And I think even if we get a baffle strike, it would bounce and still come out the end. But if it for some reason went sideways or just exploded one of these, I don't want to be near it. So we're going to try to do this as safe as possible as we do something unsafe, which is the demolition ranch way. 22 first, we're going short. We have, what? The bullet's got a big dent in it, the shell. Okay, we have uh, some supersonics that are not dented. Y'all missed it, but that bounced a lot. This one's fine. I'm not scared of this one. Firing, should fire fine. If it explodes, it's bad on cue. Okay, beautiful. I saw it hit over there. Looks great. Now we're gonna up the ante a bit. This one should be fine too. We're gonna go ahead and get behind cover just in case though, because this is twice the recommended amount. And we'll see how it does. Firing. Too easy. Put the end cap on the new one. Now we got a threesome. A three, 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 three times suppressor. Three, yep. This should have a decent amount of deviation, so could definitely get a baffle strike or a catastrophic failure. All right, firing. Still saw it hit downrange. It's also getting very quiet and we are shooting supersonics and it still just has like hardly any crack at all. Um, it went through, it didn't bust out the side. There's a lot. All right, I'm gonna open up and see if we have any baffle strikes. All right, I see nothing. Um, and then this was our third one, no baffle strikes. So we're gonna put it back together and go for number four. Four times, a regular suppressor length. I think this one will get a baffle strike. The nine doesn't deviate too much, but the 22 really does. I mean, this thing is hooked in a vise pretty good. And just, I mean, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> Place your bets in the comments below. Are we breaking a suppressor on this one with four times the recommended length? Firing. Hit the ground. It definitely went off the end of the barrel. God, you can see a droop on it right now. All right, we're gonna take it apart, see if we have any baffle strikes. We're just gonna check the back half because it's too long to look all the way down. There's nothing, these are good to go. So you just kind of look through and see if you see any like pieces of metal sticking out in the path. Got no baffle strikes. Take the end cap off. We'll go longer. Five times. There's some droop. You can see some droop in this erector. Have to get a baffle strike on this one, right? All right, here we go. Only one way to actually know. Firing. That is very, very quiet, and I saw it hit dirt over there. <sighs> Nothing. Not one thing. Dude, everybody's just gonna be buying like five foot long suppressors now. Be like, I want it to be super quiet like Matt's gun. This is our second to last trial with this. This is 60 of these segments of baffles. That's a lot. We're getting more boing every time. It's baffle striking this one for sure. I know it, I can tell by the way that it is. Droopy. Firing. Hit the dirt. Dang it. What if we do this whole video thinking this is, this is just gonna have catastrophic failure and it just works really good and it's super quiet. Dude, nothing. Nothing. Well, your only hope. Going a little bit bigger this time. 
Boing, 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 boing. How would it make it out of there? It can't. Firing. It did. It freaking. It's hitting like the same spot every time, which means it's probably not baffle striking. That's crazy. <laughs> There's no baffle strike. Q. I will take uh. 69% um, of all future 69 baffle suppressors you sell. Because I'm going to make these things famous. Did you know how quiet that was? I'm going to hold it and shoot it. I know. I'm brave. Supersonics. Oh, that missed. Let me try again. I was shooting at the big one and it went a foot left. Oh, I went a foot left too. So maybe that's just where it shoots. All right, I'll shoot a foot right. That went exactly. It's definitely baffle striking. Yeah, because it's not... Going in the same place. I'm gonna aim center of his chest. All right. Same thing. That one went way more left. Now they're all going pretty straight. Let's see if we can hit long range with this thing. I right, got 100 yards. <laughs> I can see the suppressor way out far in my scope. That one hit six feet low. That one hit six feet left. Dude, I can hear it. It's like making weird noises going through this suppressor. It's for sure touching. And none of them are going at the target. The safest place to be is directly in my crosshairs. Oh, we're out. <laughs> You guys won't be able to hear it, but I can hear. There's stuff falling out of the gun. Yep, definitely a bunch of piece of lead in there. Let's uh, see what it looks like. <laughs> That's not what you want to come out of your suppressor. <laughs> the first one I opened up is definitely a baffle strike. That one was right here. So that was... That was double the normal distance, and there was already a baffle strike. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that one got torn up. Easy. This one too, totally torn up. So, I'll show you one. so here's the very first one, where it was still going straight. You can see it has that lip around it. Look at that one. Lip totally destroyed. Bullets were just exploding through here. Same thing, just totally chewed up in there. So yeah, I think we ruined every, uh, every baffle at the end here. For my last experiment 22 long rifle, I call this the Boeing test. Boing, oing, 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 oing. Still made it! I really just want to want to come outside of this, but I don't think it's happening. Okay, time for 9mm. We have a little 9mm here, and we have a regular sized Erector 9. It's average, guys. It's an average, it's at least average. It's definitely not small. Oh man. Okay, well that's a good place to stop, I guess. And uh, we'll put it in the vise and make it grow. Okay, good to go. The mag won't fit in here with this mount, so we're just gonna feed in, do one at a time here. We're charged, and uh, yeah, we'll get back behind cover, because nine obviously has a lot more power than a 22 has, so it's gonna be a little sketchy. Safety's off, got our string. We're gonna go and see, I think this one will be fine. I think it'll fire out, hit the dirt over there. Firing! I think we hit a tree over there, but I saw it hit. End cap looks fine. We'll open it up and see what we got. Nothing. Looks beautiful. That baffle looks fine. So I think we haven't hit a baffle yet, which is not surprising. <sighs> Why did everyone leave the video around the 9mm mark? Three times, 9mm. Let's do it. I think this one will work too. Firing. Dude, that went seven feet from where the other one hit. The other one smacked a tree over here and that one went way up there. So I we might have a baffle strike now.
Look at the end. God, we should have just WD-40 these. Ah, that's clean. Okay, let me check. Right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm good to go. Yep, clean. All right, let me check. Clean. Dude, no baffle strikes on three times. Which means we gotta go four times. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Four times! This one boings a lot less than the 22. That's what I've noticed about um, the wider around directions don't boind as much. Let's see what we got. I think we're gonna get a baffle strike on this one. <laughs> well, the bullet definitely still went down range. We smoked the target. Nothing. I think if the ends are not getting hit, the middle is not either. Yeah. Bigger. Five sections, so about 50 baffles uh, on a nine millimeter. Let's see what we got. We have not moved the gun, so every time it's hitting different places, so it's like it might be kind of touching them, but not enough to break them. I don't know. I don't really know. Firing. Dude, actually, that hit the exact same spot. It knocked the paint off the exact same spot down there. So maybe we're doing pretty good. We'll see. No baffle strike, a foot from the end. No baffle strike on the end. We good to go, boys. This is six sections. So it's about 60 baffles, and then we have nine more after this. So this is our second to last test. A little boink, not a lot. Safety off. Giddy up, partners. What do y'all think is going to happen? Baffle strike or clean pass? Firing. Dude, it hit it again. I hope we keep making it through, because if this makes it all the way, I'm going to shoot it from the hand. I just didn't want to do it if there was a possibility of it exploding. Which will still be a possibility, it's just it's probably fine. No bath strike, no bath strike. So, we are continuing on and adding the last uh, section. So now we have 69 baffles. Nice. And a giant erection, erector. And uh, we'll see what happens. My suppressor is bigger than yours. Okay. Giddy up. Full 69, if you know what I mean. Going down range. Fire in. Oh, he hit it again! <laughs> Dude, this is the best day of my life. I don't even care about when my kids are born, when I got married. None of that compares to this. No baffle strike there. What about even the last one? Dude, nothing. We've been wasting all our time on this rest over here. <laughs> okay, let's see if it still is on target. There's a little left. That one hit. Dude. <laughs> it does pull a little left, but it's, it's consistent. We're shooting supers too. Uh, we kind of want to shoot some subs out of this, but I'm worried they're the slower one. Will, I don't. I don't think it'd mess up. But dude, look at this. Uh, interestingly, suppressors get hot, but you. It always just seems like the whole suppressor's hot. It's definitely hot right here. It's warm right here, and it's cold here on. Which is pretty interesting. I've never seen that in a suppressor. I also just realized I was just.
we have three subsonic rounds. A little nervous about this, uh, but I think it's fine. I think I'm nervous for no reason. Well, there, there's a little bit of a reason. Um, we just want to see how quiet it is. So subs, usually the first one's a little louder. They get a little crack, and then after that, they're pretty quiet. So let's see what subs sound like. I'm just going to shoot dirt. Dude, that's so quiet. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool. Uh, we've shot it a lot, and I've been running around shooting it. Let's take it apart and see if we have any baffle strikes. Maybe that's a that's the end cap, the very last one. Maybe that's a little tip. This one has nothing. I don't think we baffle strike this thing. Dude, no. It's freaking solid. 69 segments. It's like a almost five foot suppressor and zero baffle strikes. Dang. By the way, brand new shirts here. Check them out. It's actually one of my favorite shirts. Uh, if you want them, link in the description below. They're super cool. Super cool. So uh, thanks to John, Ethan, and Daniel, um, big part at Q of helping us get this stuff. So you guys are awesome. Um, and uh, I think we have zero baffle strikes. I took it apart in a couple spots. No baffle strikes there. Take our end cap off. This is the very last thing that it could hit. And usually there's maybe a scratch there, but I mean, it's a bullet and like it maybe just scratched it. Uh, we're gonna call this a big pass. We have five foot of suppressor and it might have scratched a teeny part of it. No real baffle strike on nine millimeter. Uh, this was y'all's idea, like I said, so thank you guys for thinking of it. Thanks for Q for making it come to life when I just text them like, hey, send me a bunch of those. And they're like, you got it, man. I really appreciate y'all. And um, thanks, thanks for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time! Oh. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.